Well, the, the, the race is on, you know, to, 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 <laughs> to, to jokingly say, I guess, our slogan. But, um, but honestly, we needed this, you know. Um, you know, obviously, you know, there is no storybook start. That's great. We needed to be humbled. We've been humbled. Um, and now we, we got to get going on Wednesday. Um, we had a couple minutes of, you know, good basketball, but um, we, we got to understand that there's, there's a process to this right now. And um, there's going to be some growing pains along the way, and, and that's part of it. We played a really good basketball team tonight. You know, everybody back and um, good environment. But we got off to a great start. But, you know, poor execution on offense gave them a quick opportunity to get back in the game. So a lot of pressure from St. Louis, but only 10 turnovers. I thought you took care of the ball really well tonight. Yeah, thankfully, because, uh, you know, you know, poor execution and the transition defense. You know, I think the biggest thing is, man, is we, we talked, we really worked on defensively, uh, but we didn't do a good job with Uri Collins. You know, 14 assists, no turnovers. We were passive in our ball screens. Uh, we weren't up to the point on ball screens, you know, hedging, uh, you know. We got our tails kicked. We needed it. We got it. And we, now now it's time to get going. Coach, you got 12 new players. Uh, very few of them have played it at, at this level. Yep. Um, and, and especially in this type of environment. And, and overall, I know you're not pleased with the score, but there were stretches in the game yep. that I was very encouraged with in this team, that three or four minute stretches in each half where, where there, we fought on both ends of the floor. Yeah, we did. And that's what I said. But you can't come up here and play good for 15 minutes right. and expect to win. Uh, you know, if the other 25 minutes, it's transition, you know, it's transition threes, it's second chance opportunities, it's missed box outs. Um, you know, we got off to a good start. You know, we did cut it to 11, but then it's, you know, missed box out, transition three, transition three. Uh, you know, we tried to go a lot five out in the second half, bring a core away from the basket and spread them out. That worked for us for a little bit, but um, we weren't good enough tonight. Um, we got exposed, and you know, physically, that that they're a physical, yeah. physical. I mean, they're a good-looking team, physical team. They did a great job. Uh, like I said, we needed this. Um, we we've got some pieces. There's no question. I told them that in the lock. We've got some pieces, but we need to put the pieces together. The pieces need to understand what it takes, not just for 15 minutes. Right. This is an everyday everyday. You know what I mean? The way we practice, the way we approach things. Um, and our character's really good on this team, you know, but now we need to see if we can grow together. And, you know, we do need, you know, some leadership to slowly establish, but I'll take this one. Uh, I'll own it. And, uh, but I'm looking forward to the journey and getting these guys where we need to be. And, you know, a month from now when we start conference play. I thought Jamari Smith uh, showed that that he can catch the ball in in the low post and 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 be effective there, and then even stretch the defenses out to the three point line. Yeah, he's talented. I told you know I went through everybody in the locker. He's a talented player. Um, you know he's he's got a chance to be a good player. He's had a good career up to this point in college. Uh, he did some good things for us tonight, but um, you know we just you know. He, he, he did a good job tonight. Brian Moore also, his quickness gave, uh, yeah. gave you a lift in the second Yeah, I think if there's one bright spot, Brian Moore, he finally looked healthy. You know, he's been out of practice a lot. He's been in and out of practice, out of practice. You know, he's had a uh, bad kind of hip, groin injury. Uh, we got him back. Uh, I think that's the one bright spot I'll take from tonight is, you know, I know Brian can help us. And Brian's got a little we, – we need a little – a guy that'll say some stuff, and uh, you know, hopefully he'll emerge and start start taking that role a little bit. Have Lindsey Wilson on Saturday. I know a lot of work to do between now and then, but a lot of film, I guess, right? Uh, really, to be honest, man, it, it's I'm not no disrespect or anything. It's you know, Wednesday is going to be day one with us. Day two, Thursday. Day three, Friday. We'll play Saturday, take Sunday off, and then we'll get on day four on Monday. Um, you know, and obviously we got the game Saturday. But, you know, our schedule, this is what I told our guys. The way our schedule's set up, we've got 28 of these games, 29 of these games, okay? We don't have the, the setup with the, you know, with this game and this game. This is our league every night. Yeah. This is our league every night, okay? And this is our non-conference schedule for eight out of ten games. 
or nine out of ten games, whatever you want to say. Okay, so we need to just focus on us right now. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot for joining right. us. Appreciate thanks, guys. It.